Hello, William Dorrington here from TDGI. So if you're watching this video, it means you've got to our partaking in a TDGI event page and you either A, don't want to read all the text or B, need some further clarity. So this video will walk you through what it is that we need to do to set up any streaming and to use the Streamlabs OBS software. So at this point, I assume you have an external webcam ready to project the room on the day with some music and festivities going on. You've got that bit loud and clear already. So this part is actually, well, what do I need to do to enable the streaming site? So head over to streamlabs.com. Uh, don't log in with Twitch or YouTube. We, you do need one of those accounts. We recommend Twitch. The functionality is amazing. The throughput rate is amazing. It can really handle the caliber of hacks that we run and the amount of viewers that will actually be watching you. But instead of logging in, scroll down and select download and install it onto your computer itself. Don't do what these guys do and start singing, although that would be rather epic. Then once Streamlabs OBS is installed, open it up and you'll be presented with a dashboard. Now if we go through to editor, you'll then be able to start importing the overlays or scenes. And you're thinking, Will, what the hell is that? Well, actually, this is something we build for you. So we just go back to my browser and I go across to the piratesbank.com or go to dynamics365society.uk and select Power Platform Bank. If you scroll down, you will see by uh, filtering on the TDGI Streams Labs OBS scenes that we will have a scene ready for you here. Here's some previous round ones around Hack for Good and a previous global hack, but actually you can download that and we'll be able to import that into the system. Now, if you don't find these instructions too fluid, you'll actually see a step-by-step -step instruction on how to import an overlay there. But what happens is you download that file by simply selecting download, and then what you can do is oh, go back to your Streamlabs OBS, select settings, and then what you can then do is go across to scene collections, import overlay file, wait for that to load, and then it will show you the options you got available, and that will just be the one that you've downloaded recently. Then you can click on it and actually open it and import it. Then you're done and it will appear here that you can flick through. So as you can see, we have our start screen. It'd be obvious when to put that on. It'd be as you're setting up. So it would say TGA Global Hack Starting. Some of our sponsors, the logos. And remember the sponsors are there because they are the ones that made this possible. Uh, and then we'll have when we're actually running the event itself, the camera will be displayed here and uh, you'll be able to see everything that's going on. You'll also get some IMing down the side. So you'll see that there will be a little IM down the side to the right that people will be writing to you on and off on just there. That's just coming in now. So it's rendering a bit slow because I've got the, a lot of recording stuff going on around this. And then you will have your, uh, your, your, your ending slide, your thank you slide. So remember to stay in touch with your viewers. They may be asking questions, words of encouragement, etc. And really just have a great time. I really hope these instructions were useful. If not, please do reach out via the contact forms. Thank you so much.